Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following along my shenanigans, the past two videos that I posted showcased two color negative films and a plastic film camera from a brand called Yashica. But like I said before, the original Japanese Yashica brand has died back in 2005, so these new films and plastic cameras are produced by a different company that is actually based in Hong Kong. So I decided to go ahead and showcase a real legacy from the original Yashica company, the Yashica Mat 124. The Yashica Mat 124 is a twin lens reflex or a TLR camera from the late 1960s. This means that it has two lenses, one for viewing up here and one for actually taking the photo down here. The taking lens is offset from the viewing lens, so unlike single lens reflex cameras or SLRs, you're not quite seeing what the camera will take a photo of. And like rangefinder cameras, the closer you are to your subject, the more apparent the parallax effect from this offset becomes. Also, the image you see in the waist level viewfinder is mirrored, which takes a bit of getting used to at first. That said, I think that TLRs are some of the coolest looking cameras ever. I mean, look at this handsome fella. I think this is the second medium format film camera that I bought back in 2018. Like most TLR film cameras, the Ashika Mat 124 uses medium format 120 film and takes photos with a 6x6 or square aspect ratio. And you get 12 photos from a single roll of 120 film. A couple of weeks ago, I went out to visit the Princess Island Park near downtown Calgary and brought my Yashica TLR with me. So without further ado, here's a montage of the photos that I took that evening. And yes, it's evening, because in June, the sun doesn't set here until about 10 p.m.
and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video and the photos that I took. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I developed and scanned these black and white photos myself, but I ran out of C41 chemistry, so I couldn't develop the colored negatives that I shot during that time. If you'd like to see them, please consider subscribing because I'll most likely make a video update with the colored photos once I get them developed and scanned. So yeah, um, if you liked the video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.